With the recent release of Blizzard's FPS title, Overwatch, you may be asking yourself if you should go out and spend $1000 on a new computer or get that shiny new GTX 1080 so that you can play this game at max settings and maintaining that magic 60fps figure, or do you? Blizzard are well known for their polish and optimization when it comes to their games. Today, we're going to put that to the test and see if we can run Overwatch with a PC built from a budget of less than $150. Without further ado, let me introduce the parts. In this build, we'll be using a first generation Core i5-760 quad-core processor paired with an ASRock P55 Pro motherboard and 4GB of DDR3 memory. I picked up this combo secondhand for $110, which also came in a Cooler Master case along with a 500W power supply. Next up we have the star of the show which is the AMD 6950, it is a 1GB GDDR5 card. The one I got is the ASUS DCU2 version which comes with a nice dual fan cooler. This card set me back $35 and is a bargain in my opinion for the performance it offers. It is noted however that this card is a power hog requiring both a 6 and an 8 pin connector. Luckily, and to my surprise, the 500 watt power supply we got had the required connectors to make this build happen. And finally, I skimped out on the storage and got myself a $5 80GB mechanical hard drive. Come on, at this budget, were you really expecting an SSD? This hard drive isn't going to win any speed boot contest, but for the frugal, patient gamer, it will suffice. So all this came down to a low, low price of $145. I did spend a little extra on the cleaning materials as well as some thermal paste, but those can be used for future builds, so I won't include those into the price. Alright guys, it's all assembled and now let's boot it up and hope it all works. Great, it's running and I've just installed Windows 10 and Overwatch. It did take a while on the mechanical hard drive and I had a couple of rounds of Overwatch to pass time, but now we're ready to test this baby out. For the first run, I'm going to set everything to epic in Overwatch, so pretty much everything is decked out to its maximum setting, and uh, let's see what frames we get. As you can see it's probably not playable at this setting the average frames are about 11 fps the maximum is only 34 when i'm staring at the ground and pretty much it's one fps when it starts to jerk for the second test we're gonna set everything to low so on the other end of the spectrum and see how it goes Okay, this is much, much better. The average frames were 88 with a, with a minimum of 42 and also a maximum of 111. So this is definitely, definitely playable on a typical uh, 60 hertz monitor. So that's good to know. Right, given that we've uh, pretty much averaging past 88 on the low setting, I decided to test it out on the medium settings. And let's see how it goes. I think I've hit the sweet spot here. Basically on medium setting, everything is still smooth. It averages at about 57 FPS. Uh, the minimum is 43 and the maximum was 71. So this is definitely the sweet spot for this game, for this uh, configuration. And there you have it guys. Overwatch is beautifully optimized, even for low end hardware. 
Blizzard has done a phenomenal job with Overwatch and as with all their games are very friendly to low end PCs which is probably part of their business strategy to open up their games and lower the barrier of entry to as many gamers as possible. Thanks for watching guys, this is the first time I've done a video like this and hopefully I'll be able to use this machine to some games to see how they perform on low end hardware. Stay tuned and see you next time.